hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will name it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is also 30 seconds and background color, I will choose white color and simply hit ok, hit ok so it will create our composition. Now go to the choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action and then press ctrl r to get these rulers over here. Now in the shape options, I'll choose round, rounded rectangle. I don't want any stroke, so I'll delete this stroke. The only thing I want over here is this fill. And for the fill color, I'll choose black color and hit OK. Now I'll create one rectangle, something like that. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Now in this rectangle, I'll go to the rectangle one. Then I'll go to the transform rectangle not transform but rectangle path 1 and we have this roundness option over here so I'll increase this roundness somewhere around like that now press V to for selection tool and I'll move this thing over here hit con just something over here hit ctrl D again and I'll move this thing over here now choose our ellipse tool and create one circle press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and align it horizontally press v again for selection tool and move this thing somewhere around here hit u select this layer press ctrl alt home again hit enter and name it as circle hit ok Select this one, hit enter and type up. Select this one, hit enter and type down. And hit OK. Now I'll move this up over here, down over here and circle is over here. Now this circle, I'll make it apparent with this up. Select this up now. Press R for rotation, create one keyframe. Go to around one second and let's rotate it to 180 so if i hit play we will get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here if we hit play we will get something like that now select this circle press p create one keyframe over here or go to 20 frames and by holding shift I'll move this thing over here and all we need to do just touch this like that also here make sure that this thing only touches the edge of it like that get something like this now select this and hit F9 go few frame forwards again create one keyframe and in middle of this by holding shift i'll move this thing over here just like that now select those keyframe go to the graph editor move this thing over here select this graph by holding shift i'll make move this thing over here zoom in a little bit select this handle and move this over here now select this handle by holding shift i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here so if we hit play we will get this falling animation so our main animation is almost ready i'll make it fit if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation now i'll press ctrl r again and i'll create this rulers over here and i'll create another ruler 
somewhere around like this just go here bring down this ruler over here and one over here and this thing should be here now after this things right click create one new and create one null object and those layers who are not parent with anyone select them and make it a parent with this null one now select this null press p for position create one keyframe and go to hit select all the layers hit u and go to somewhere around 2.15 frames and move this thing over here and make sure this rectangle is in between these two lines so if i hit play now i'll get this kind of animation somewhere like that now i'll select this down one and hit ctrl d again and now unparent this one and now hit u over here now at this point i'll select this extra one and now i'll make it apparent with this null one so if i go here and hit n and now if i play this we'll get this kind of looping animation but this is not much so i'll select this press s for scaling option and just scale it a little bit scale down so if we hit play we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes make sure that you are at the start and you are selecting both the keyframes and just move them a downwards like that now if we hit play as you can see we are getting this kind of looping animations now select those layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as loop hit ctrl d move this thing over here press f4 and make sure you are hitting this option press p for position and move this thing over here like that now again hit ctrl d move this thing over here just like that if we hit play now we will get this kind of animations now go inside this loop hit u and make sure that all the things are correct and press ctrl y again to create a solid background hit ok hit ok and drag it down now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation so our final animation is ready now right click new create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply tint effect on it to swap these colors just like that now select any out of it right click go to the layer styles and i'll choose bevel emboss go to this bevel emboss increase the size like that and you can also increase the softness and now select this layer styles hit ctrl c to copy select other ones and hit ctrl v so now we will get this bevel effect if you swap this you will get something like that now select any out of it and apply drop shadow effect on them increase the distance around 15 i will increase the softness around 100 and for the color i will choose somewhere around bluish white hit ctrl c to copy that effect select another ones and hit ctrl v so we will get a simple drop shadow over here 
so yep this is our final looping animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned